four years ago in summer 2019, right after I got deported from Texas to Europe, I returned back to Czechia and started my search for a flip property. At that time, I didn't have much funds left at my disposal, so I've been searching for a house on the cheaper side. After viewing a few houses, I ended up right here. Four years ago in August 2019, I was standing right here in front of this house and I said, this could be my next project. And then I signed a contract, paid a deposit, and three months later, in November 2019, I started working on it. Now it's October 2023, and I'm standing here again. And I'm more than ready to announce that it's now my past project. The house underwent a complete overhaul inside and out, and now it looks entirely different. Despite numerous setbacks, delays, problems with contractors and finances, which I covered in many of my previous update videos, I finally finished this renovation. The goal was to finish the inside in a shell stage without furnishings, so the future owners can customize the interiors according to their taste and preferences. I converted this former duplex that later served as a single family and a auto repair shop to a triplex. I created three identical spacious condos with open floor plan layout of nearly 1300 square feet or 120 square meters with three bedrooms, two bathrooms each with their own private backyards, front and rear decks and dedicated parking spaces. One of the condos has already sold last year, which provided me with enough proceeds to finish the remaining two. For the past 12 months, I've been vigorously working on this project to successfully bring it to the finish line. I finished the decking and even the city paved the adjacent road after laying down the new public sewer pipeline and finally hooking up my house to it. Except overcoming yet another issue with bad drywall contractor, it's been pretty smooth operation. I decided to not hire anyone anymore and I finished all the works by myself. All the plumbing, electrical, insulation, heating and ventilation, structural, drywall and painting, some extra works and acoustic separation improvements. I actually also worked hard with the parking lot crew. Again, very unreliable crew, difficult to work with that I had to constantly supervise. But they still managed to mess up the sloping of the pavers anyway and I still had to redo it myself. This was yet another added delay. For the past few months during the summer, I've been taking it easier on myself with the work and I started exercising again to get back in shape in order to gradually regenerate. Till this moment, I've been focusing just on the job and now I need to switch back to the storytelling. So today is the day. The project is completed and I can finally ditch all my tools and replace them with touchpad and a keyboard to finally work on my videos. I'm finally gonna be able to start editing all that footage I recorded throughout the time and create some videos out of it while my two condos are selling. Hopefully they'll sell soon and I'll be able to hop onto another project. So now let me introduce you to my finished product and give you an uninterrupted POV virtual tour around my house and one of the condos to show you the results. The house is set in this valley right in front of this little public park where local community is gathering for several annual events. It's an old coal mining colony and all the houses been built around 1900s. Even though it's a village like setting, it's actually just about five minutes ride from city downtown where everything happens. The house is surrounded by a road from three sides, but the road traffic is barely noticeable inside. Thanks to all the thermal insulation, including the insulated facade, insulated roof, and triple pane insulated windows. The house is almost completely soundproof. The facade is finished with a mold and moss resistant stucco and the roof is painted galvanized sheet metal. The front path and steps are concrete covered with fake stone and stained concrete treads. The deck is wood plastic planks riveted to a light gauge galvanized steel frame. 
All right, let's ring the bell and step inside this middle condo. Right upon entry, we find ourselves standing in this two-story high ceiling foyer with staircase and plenty of lighting options. There's a chandelier, recessed lights, wall lights, night lights, and LED strip lights prep. The entire condo is ready for selecting your desired lighting mood. One of my favorite features is this remotely controlled skylight that can be operated just by pressing a button or via an app. It's also equipped with a rain sensor for peace of mind in case you forget your skylight opened. The window will automatically close when you're not at home and suddenly it starts raining. The remaining three skylights are not equipped with this hardware but are pre-wired for future installation of this option. By the way, you can fit really tight tall Christmas tree in here. Right next to the foyer is the master bedroom located, again with plenty of lighting options including the LED strip prep for ceiling perimeter. Straight out of the master bedroom you can exit onto the front deck and have your morning coffee out there. There's plenty of room for a king size bed and some of the lights can be operated while you are laying down and watching TV. You can also charge your phone or an iPad with USB and USB-C built-in charger next to your bed. Above the bathroom door, there is a CO2 sensor that sends signals to a forced air ventilation unit, making sure you'll never run out of fresh air. You can enter the master bathroom directly from master bedroom. There is another door from hallway as a shortcut or for visitors. Again, there is plenty of lighting options available for setting the right mood for when you are soaking in the freestanding tub. There's a built-in toilet flush tank with prep for a bidet and also in a corner there is a room for a stand-up shower glass enclosure. There is also a humidity sensor that automatically triggers the ventilation or it can be operated manually as well. The vanity setup is located at the opposite wall and here I wanted to point out all the electrical wires for the lighting. Here is a wire for the LED strip below the vanity cabinet. Here is a wire for the LED strip inside the shower built-in shelf and down there is a wire for a heated toilet seat. In this little hallway there is all the condo's brains. This is the touchpad for the forced air ventilation with heat recuperation unit that can also be operated via your smartphone. Right below that is the manifold with circulation pump for the radiant underfloor heating to all rooms downstairs. On the opposite wall is located the multimedia box from which are all the satellite, TV and network cables distributed from, doorbell, power supply for the skylight data cables for the internet to all the rooms, data cables for the interior and exterior security cameras and right above is located my pride, the main breaker box which is equipped with astrological timer for those staircase night lights. Those are also LED lights with very low power consumption and they come on automatically at night and you don't need to worry about nothing. Below the staircase there is additional storage space with a power outlet where you can charge your electric scooter. The space then free flows to a living room through a large opening. Again overkill on the lighting. There is seven of these Italian style light switches for setting the perfect mood for your relaxation times with your family after work. The living room creates one continuous space together with kitchen where there is also room for a dining table between the doors. As a focus point of this living area serves this centrally located feature wall fitted with built in electric LED fireplace and a flat screen TV hookups right above it. There's all the necessary hookups including the data jack. You can even pull the cables to your PlayStation console through the wall to have them completely concealed. By the way the same setup is in the master bedroom. Now let's move over to the kitchen with the same lighting configuration including 
including the prep for the LED strips underneath the base kitchen cabinets, wall cabinets and the ceiling perimeter. There's also prep for in-sync waste disposal. And of course you can plug your iPad right in the wall while you are searching for that pumpkin pie recipe. The duct hookup for the hood extractor is also connected directly to the ventilation system which helps with removing the odors. You can let your pets out straight out of the kitchen door that leads to this oversized rear deck which provides plenty of room for your outdoor seating set and grill. The backyard is currently conjoined but the land is legally divided for each condo separately at the register of deeds so the future owners may indeed have a private fence installed if they need it. You can ring the doorbell from back here as well. This doorbell can be configured to have distinct melodies for each button so when someone rings you can tell if it was the front door or the back door. Alright let's go back inside and check out the view from the living room outside through that French door. Isn't this amazing? I could see me just sitting here and chilling. Over here in this corner we have dual data connectors for your computer desk and your home office needs. Now let's head upstairs through this lovely entrance lobby. The railing is missing on purpose so the buyers can choose their own style and finish. Upstairs we have two additional bedrooms with sufficient space to accommodate your little devils and their junk. They even have their own bathroom up here. This bathroom is also equipped with a humidity sensor that works with with the ventilation unit. There is a built-in top with shower and the bathroom is large enough to fit a washer and dryer under this sloping ceiling. The vanity fixtures are located in the highest ceiling area. Right next to the bathroom is a utility room where the very energy efficient gas heater is located. This little heater heats up the entire condo and also heats up the tap. Because it is centrally located you have a hot water running in no time. Below the water heater we have a water meter hiding behind this little door and right below that one we have a magnetic filter for catching a rust or possible metal fragments to ensure the system's longevity. And right beside that is a optional sink and washer and dryer hookup. On the other side of the heater is an optional data connection for having the heater and thermostats connected to the smart home application. Now let's check out the bedrooms. This entire upper floor being created by converting the attic space to a habitable space. Even though the roof has this pitch angle there is still enough headroom. Also the skylights add some room and light. The heating is done by radiators and behind this locked door is an additional storage space for stuff you'll never need again or for locking your kids when they misbehave. And of course down here we have the media hookups and now let's take a look out the window to see what thy neighbor is up to. The other bedroom is identical, just reversed. It's the same size, lighting and everything, not much to see here. But what I really wanted to show is this little attic space where we can get up to through this opening and pull down steps. That's where all the ducting for ventilation is distributed from and the ventilation unit itself is located. This system can also be connected to an internet and be included in your smart home application. Plus there is some bonus storage space for your useless collectibles. And this is it for this house tour and for this video. This project is a wrap. All it needs right now is a new owner so I can get paid to redeem my efforts. In a very near future I'll be posting some more detailed videos about this past progress on this house and also also the part 3 video on my US Mexico border jumping attempt. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Peace.